Hey you, welcome to Slay the Spire. Today playing the daily challenge for March 26th, 2022. The character of the defect and the mod farts are cursed run. Whenever you defeat a defeat boss, become cursed. Your starting relic is replaced with curse key, dark stone parry up and do it all. Diverse cards are not restricted by your character. In lethality, you start each combat with plus three strength, and all enemies start each combat with plus three strength. I see Peltzer with 1395. Uh, no other familiar score. Uh, Vorpal, 1391. Okay, only four points behind, but didn't make it into the top 20. Yeah, so yesterday's run was very interesting. Check out the comments if you're interested. But basically, everybody besides me and Pelts, I think, was able to get corruption in uh, on Act 1, which changed the game significantly because there's also the um, uh, um, the Dead Branch Relic. So SD Walker, Hobo... Um, uh, Flignicum, I think everybody pretty much. Yeah, I think I think Peltz was the only one who was surprised. Uh, Vorpal 2, Ameldan. Uh, Peltz was the only one who um, was surprised that, um, yeah, basically everybody else seems to have gotten corruption. And I think it must have been that something me and Peltz did that was slightly different from what everybody else did early on. And that just ruined our RNG at least. So everybody else got very lucky yesterday. Relatively lucky. Oh, well, maybe we just got unlucky. Anyway, let's move on to today's run. So, Curse Key is gain energy at the start of your turn. Whenever you open a non boss chest, you obtain a curse. Next one, Periapt is whenever you obtain a curse, increase your max speed by six. And do it all for each curse in your deck, start each combat with one strength. Uh, so, I am going to learn from my previous mistakes and try to go for the Highlander aggressively, which means if I get duplicates, I will remove them. Just because I think in the past, the the people who got the highest score in a, in a curse run daily with a diverse were people who tried to go for. Um, the uh, Highlander modifier and then maybe used uh, hoped for no memory later on because at the end of the boss fight you get an extra curse so uh, I might even try to just keep the number of curses to four so that the last curse has a higher chance of not being a duplicate anyway two two lead paths if I stick on the right I'll get one two three four five six question marks in the shop on the left I'll get less right yeah just three question marks I think okay let's stick on the right yeah all right, got the lice here. Um, I do have extra energy, so I can fully... Def Actually, wait, I could have killed this guy, right? No, no, not quite. It's fine. I can do this. And then kill next turn. I could have killed this guy with three strikes, but there's no real real reason to. All right. Okay, double energy, pressure points, armaments. Who was my final boss here? Not the Hexaghost. Good. Um, armaments, double energy, pressure points. Not a huge fan of any. Let's go with the armaments. Double energy would be better if I had some sort of X-Cost card. Gain some gold for HP, and do I need to remove anything? Um, I do have a shop coming up, so let's not spend the gold. Maybe I don't need the dual cast, because I barely have any orbs. Yeah, fine, let's remove the dual cast. I should I remove this? Well, if I remove the zap, then dual cast is really useless. Alright, fine. We got Jawworm here. Let's upgrade a defend, just so I can be fully defended. Come. Okay. Another 10, double defend, zap, strike, come. And another 10, um, I cannot kill here, right? 18 plus 6 is 24, no, let's just defend here again, double strike again, come. And then here I should be able to kill, good. Okay, wall strike, headbutt, sense of time might be really good. Doesn't benefit from the extra strength, but I think it's it's probably the best card, especially against something like the Lagavulin. All right, not the best start here. Nine incoming. Um, you know what? I'm going to wait. I have 27. Yeah, it's not enough to kill, but I'm getting close. And then here yeah, I can just kill. Good. All right, strength potion. Battle trance might not be a bad idea. Infernal blade is also nice. Um, let's go with the battle trance since I have extra uh, energy. I think I need extra card draw more. Move transformer upgrade. I could transform a defend. Uh, sure. Sure, let's see what I get. It might give me a rare card. Ooh, corruption. Okay. That is interesting. Let me keep it, and worst case, I can. if I'm going for popper, I can remove it on Act 3. Let's do Battle Trends here. Um, I'm not 100% sure what to play. Um, I think I can upgrade something. Let's upgrade the Sands of Time, actually. Yeah, and then Triple Strike. I mean, I can't kill here, right? Can I somehow defend against 9? If I do Corruption, no, the defense won't be enough. Um, this would be 38. Even the Strength Potion would not have been enough, right? 
Um, yeah, I think in that case, uh, let's just do corruption. I'll double defend because I'm pretty confident I should be able to kill next turn. So this does 29. Actually, I guess it's not enough. Um, let's see. So double strike, uh, 38, 47. I need one more attack. Actually, no, I kind of just upgrade a strike and that should be enough, right? All right. Yeah, I wasn't able to perfect lost 3 HP here. We've got Calipers at the start of your turn. You lose 15 block rather than all of your block. Simmering Fury might be interesting. Cut through Fate might be better, but let's go with Simmering Fury. I would like to have a way to enter Wrath if I need to. All right, Defend and Simmering Fury got upgraded. And here I got a blue candle. Unplayable Curse card's going to update. Whenever you play a curse, lose 1 HP and exhaust. That's amazing. Amazing to get it this early on in a curse run. Shame is fine. And I got the Fungi Beast. Uh, sure, let me see what the corruption gives me, then battle trance, okay. And then I can do zap, armaments, a str... Actually, it's armaments the hand of, um, sense of time again, so that will kill the frontliner when I have to. Mm -hmm. And then I cannot yet kill the backliner. Wait, what do I do here? Um, so, hmm... Actually, wait, if I do Sands of Time, and then, yeah, that, actually, this is enough. I forgot about the uh, orb. Come. Got a Gambler's Brew Turbo Reach Heaven or True Grit. I think True Grit is fine. Might help with uh, getting rid of Cursor, though. I would like to get that upgraded if I can. All right, let's kill this guy and then double defend. Come. I guess I can remove the Shame, but I don't think I really have to. Especially since I can easily kill here. Potion of Capacity is probably going to be pretty useless. Um, hmm. Emulate is nice, uh, but no, let me think about the popper at least for a little bit longer. All right, so tiny chest. Every fourth question mark room is a treasure room. That will guarantee a lot of curses. I am not sure if I should take it. I think instead I should focus on cards, although they're not many amazing ones. Let's definitely take the Sever Soul. It's really tempting to take tiny chest. I'm afraid it will give me a lot of curses. And too many. I might I might try to go Highlander, Highlander, right? So I don't want that many curses, but also translate into a lot of treasure, possibly. Hmm. Yeah, let me know in the comments if you went for a different approach, if you didn't take tiny chests, but let's take it here. Every fourth question mark room is a treasure room. If I if I well, since I know I'm getting curses, I think it's it's definitely not bad, but I'm not haven't yet decided if it's good or not. I am thinking of doing Simmering Fury and then basically just trying to kill in one turn. Let's give it a try. And I might drink the Strength Potion to help me with that. I'm hoping the extra strength I have will help. Okay, let's do Shame. So 48. I'm worried that might not be enough. Um, I do have 20. Actually, yeah. So, all right, let me see what this gives me first. Okay. So let me upgrade the Sands of Time. And then 60. Okay. Okay, I just need some decent attack cards next turn. Well, one strike. One strike would be enough. Actually, yeah, that's what I need. One strike. Okay, awesome. All right, perfect this one. Got Gremlin Horn. One of an enemy dice can energy to draw one card, as well as a duplication potion, which I'll take over the capacity potion. Wheel kick is great with the extra energy and card draw. Yeah, that would be great. Oh, I don't want to lose the wheel kick. I'd rather lose the gambler's brew. Uh, yeah, fine. Let's do it. We got happy flower. Every three turns get extra energy. Okay. And then here, I probably should get the true grid upgraded first. Yeah, just just otherwise I'm gonna I'm never never gonna upgrade it, and I think upgrade it's so much better. Okay, again, not the best opener. Let's do Battle Trance. I can probably get rid of the Shame. I guess might as well do Corruption, right? I don't have to, but... Actually, no, you know what? I'm not going to play yet. Let's do Zap and Triple Strike. Okay. I do have a Duplication Potion. I have to keep that in mind. All right. Wheel Kick gives me Simmering Fury, which is a little dangerous, but possibly worth it. So let's do Simmering Fury and Strike. Okay. I haven't drawn the sense of time, right? So that alone should deal a good amount of damage. I can do Sever Soul. Yeah, let me do Double Strike. And then Sever Soul actually kills. Okay. Yeah, that Summering Fury is helping me out quite a bit so far. Doppelganger Bullet Time Limit Break. Did I get another Shame? I did. Oh, there goes my luck. 
So limit break, limit break would be great with the strength I have, but I, it would make Popper very difficult. But I already have a corruption, so fine. Let's go with the limit break, and I'm gonna give up on Popper. I do I need Black Star? Might not be a bad idea. I have energy already, right? Sacred Bug would be great because of the potions, but yeah, I think I'll go with the Black Star. At least some additional relic when defeated. That should at least make it very likely I can get the Alex Shiny modifier. All right, got the champ at the end. One, two, only two, one, two, no, two, two elite paths. I have to stick on the left if I go far left. Actually, yeah, the path converts here, and then on the far left, that's two question mark rooms. So definitely on the far left. And then I'll have another three question mark rooms afterwards. So, okay. All right. Uh, I might have to be a little careful here because I could take a lot of damage. Let's do limit break, strike, zap. Okay. At least the limit break will help me kill very quickly. Um, yeah, I can do Simmering Fury, and then this would deal 40 damage next turn, and hopefully I get another strike. Um, or I can do Wheel Kick in Sands of Time. Okay. Got a Power Potion, Dagger Throw, Cool Headed prepared. Let's go with the Dagger Throw. And then Looter and Mugger. Yeah, see, this is the worry. When, um, when the enemies have extra st strength as well, it... Is so much more difficult to um, preserve HP. Not healing and I don't have a rest site. Okay. Especially if I end up fighting the uh, Book of Stabbing. That's going to be very difficult. Uh, let's see what the Battle Trans gives me. Okay. Wheel Kick. Sever Soul. That will kill one of them. Let me True Grid the Shame first. Okay. And then can I do something? Well, I might as well armament the, uh, let's say, the Sever Soul. Okay. Defend. Then Sever Soul. Now, let me do Wheel Kick first. Oh, right. I can't draw anything. All right, fine. Okay. All right, 19 incoming. Let's do Dagger Throw. Simmering Fury is actually a great help here. And then with double damage, I should have no trouble killing this guy. Okay. Crush Joints might be good. Hologram is nice too, but let's go with the Crush Joints. Uh, snake plan is rough. Oh boy, that's going to be rough. All right, let's do true grit, um, then crush joints, defend. I'm a little worried about doing simmering fury, but let's risk it. Okay. So basically I have to kill here. All right. Luckily I'm not getting attacked, although I think I should be able to kill, right? Let's do wheel kick and then sever soul. Rough fight, I'm down to 28 HP. Not looking great. Halt beam cell recursion. Let's go with the beam cell, although... I would like more card draw before I take that. I didn't get another curse. We got ink bottle. One of you play 10 cards, draw one card. Come. Okay. All right, Centurion and Mystic. 11 incoming. Let's do Piercing Whale. Get rid of the shame, defend and strike. Come. Okay. Mm, yeah, 27 HP is not that great. Another 11. That's unusual for the backliner to attack twice. Um, I guess I'll do Corruption, defend, Battle Trance. Uh, well, might as well do Crush Joints, Beam Cell, and yeah, once again, I'm taking quite a bit of damage. I'm really worried about the lead fights, because without extra, or, well, with the extra strength the enemies have, I'm going to have a lot of trouble. Uh, let's do Wheel Kick first, then a regular Strike, okay. Then Zap, get rid, oh, actually, I don't think I need to get rid of the Shame, I think I can just do Sever Soul. Okay. And next turn, I should be able to deal a lot of damage with the Sands of Time. Luckily, I'm not getting attacked, which means I should be able to kill here. Good. Okay, Uppercut is really nice. Let's take it. All right, so Gremlin Leader, I might have a chance. Okay, great. Right as I said that, uh, he decided to attack. Let me see. So, yeah, I'm dead if I'm not careful here, right? So let me see what the Power Potion plays. Dragonheart Wraith Form is amazing. Yeah, let's do Wraith Form. That also gives me a chance to fully defend. Um, let me upgrade that Wraith Form, actually. Okay. All right. And this way, I don't have to worry about the minions either. Because I'll be intangible. I just need to make sure I draw some defensive cards once in a while. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's not kill the minions. Let's just make sure I can defend a little bit. Actually, I'm going to do Simmering Fury, too. It's a Battle Trance. Get rid of the shame, then limit break, crush joints, and zap. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Right, back when I was attacking, I'm still intangible. Sands of Time is 67. Let's do... Wait, can I kill here? 56 plus another 36. I feel like that should be enough. Haven't counted exactly, but yeah, that's enough. All right, perfect this one. Just very luckily, thanks to that potion. We got a potion belt. I'm going to pick up, gain two potion slots. And Ma Bank, whenever you climb the floor, gain 12 gold. No longer works when you spend any gold at a shop. A colorless potion and uh, Tantrum is great, but I'm worried I have too many ways to ex exit Enter Wrath and not enough to exit it. But fine, let's risk it. Sneko. Uh, let's do Corruption. With Sneko, that's definitely important. Then Zap, Battle Trance. And I guess I'll just do a regular strike. Okay. 18. Uh, Simmering Fury is a little dangerous, but I actually, if I'm not careful, I'm dead again here because I don't have good defensive cards. Dark Shackles might help. Let's do that. And then I think I'll do Beam Cell, Simmering Fury, Sever... Well, let's do Strike and then Sever Soul. Okay. Uh, hmm. There's a significant chance I might... Well, a 50-50 chance I might have to fight the... Uh, We'll go for stabbing next turn. We got a speed potion. Foreign influence might be good. Moment of truth. It is the book of stabbing. Oh boy. Um, all right. I have lots of potions. What do I do with them? Let me see what the battle trend should I upgrade that first. Do I want to play the speed potion? You know what? I mean, I, I don't see a better choice. Let's do that. Then do battle trance. Tantrum. If I do Tantrum, it'll be 36 instead of 18. And I'll have 24 plus another 10 is 34. Is that my only chance? Double play the Tantrum? I'm trying to think. I am worried that is my only chance. So, um, yeah, let's double play the Tantrum. Okay. And then I'll just try to defend. I'm not perfecting, but I think I might have a chance to kill next turn. Um, all right, let's do limit break. Then one strike. Yeah, and then the second strike kills. Yeah, I, I, I'm worried I wouldn't be wouldn't have been able to survive without it. We got Pendip. Every 10th attack you play deals double damage. And uh, Cloak and Dagger is good, especially upgraded. And then Bottle Lightning on pickup. Choose a skill search. Come with this card in your hand. That probably either the limit break or the uh, battle trance. But I think I'll go with the battle trance to have some card draw in my opening hand. Okay. Is there a path where... No, the, the path that maximizes question mark rooms um, doesn't have a rest side, but let's risk it. Got injury as well as blood vial at the start of each combat heal 2 HP. That might help. I mean, 2 HP is better than nothing. Another injury? Really? Back to back? Uh, the game is really making it hard to go for Highlander, but fine. We got Unseizing Top. Whenever you have no cards in hand during your turn, draw a card. Very useful. And then a shop here. I'm worried I have to remove things. Let's remove one of the shames. Mm -hmm. And I think I'm also going to spend 100 gold to get the Entropic Brew. That's going to give me a lot of potions. Ragnarok might be nice with the extra strength I have. Yeah, let's take it. Especially if I can enter Wrath. Very, very expensive, but I, it might be worth it. Okay, 16 coming. I would prefer to save my Entropic Brew, but if I don't get anything better, I might have to play it. Uh, let's do Battle Trance. Oh, this is so tempting. It depends what, what the Ragnarok will hit, right? Because it'll be 22 times 5. So 3 hits would kill this guy. But yeah, if 3 hits kill, kill, hit this guy, I'll be dead, right? Because then I only have 2 hits hit the backliner. Unless I do Tantrum here, that's 27. So this guy will be left with 24. Yeah, so it's still more than 2 hits. Oh, this is this is rough. Uh, you know what? Let's, let's just uh, defend. Try to defend at least. Let's do Uppercut. Cloak and Dagger. And then I, I'm not, I'm just not going to do Tantrum. That's a shame. It's fine, though. Uh, it's it's not worth the risk. Okay, 9 incoming for an influence gives me... Yeah, Cleave might be fine. Uh, do I want to play the Corruption? Uh, sure, it won't hurt. Let's do Corruption. Defense, Zap. Um, crush Joints and Cleave. Let's do Summering Fury as well. Oh, I forgot about the Unseizing Top. I have to remember that. Okay, so here let's do uh, wheel kick to kill you, and then beam cell. Oh, that's enough to kill. Good. All right, flare boost, cleaver, meditate. Meditate might be good. Let's take it. Yeah, 
pulls me out of wrath and uh, ooh, regular fight and this regular fight. This might be a little difficult. Let me see what the uh, battle trends gives me. Uh, yeah, let's do limit break and then Ragnarok. Mm -hmm. Didn't kill anything, but fine. All right, 18. Let me get rid of this guy. Hang on, uh, 21, 15. Uh, let's do beam cell dagger throw. Ooh, double damage. Okay, kill this guy. Then um, uppercut and then strike. Okay, good. Didn't take damage there. Sucker punch, Ragnarok, heavy blade. Heavy blade, yeah, definitely with all the strength I have. All right, Sneko again. Uh, let me do battle trance and then limit break. Yep, crush joints. Strike a zap, okay. 18. Heavy blade is enough to kill. Can I deal more than 100 damage here? Uh, I was trying to think maybe... No, it's fine, it's fine. Maybe if the enemy is vulnerable. Got a speed potion. Too late for genetic algorithm, unfortunately. Steam barrier is fine. Yeah, I guess. No reason not to take it. I'm a little worried I have to rest here, so let's rest just to be safe. Okay. All right, I need to get really lucky against the champ. Uh, starting off with lim Limit Break is a great start. Uh, let me do Steam Period just to draw before I play the Battle Trance, and I think Corruption might be worth it. Let's do Battle Trance first, though. Oof, tempting. Don't want to enter Wrath. It's going to be really difficult. Uh, no, I think I'll do Corruption and just stop here, and uh, I might have to drink my Entropy Brew next turn. 17. Um, wait, how much do I have? I have 14. All right, fine. Let's drink the speed potion first. Then foreign influence, which gives me, yeah, probably twin strike. Fear no evil, maybe? Uh, okay, let's take fear no evil. All right. And then I'll do, yeah, let me do defend true grit and then sever soul. Oh, I, I keep forgetting about the unseen top. I have to really remember that. 31. Well, now, with, by playing Sense of Time, I won't be able to use the Unseen Top. Let's do Zap. Meditate is not going to help. All right, let's drink this. Yeah, nothing here is going to help, is it? I'm trying to think. No, nothing's going to help. All right. Um, not even double damage or anything, right? Beam Cell... Let's keep the sense of time for double damage next turn. So I'll just meditate. Uh, let's get the tantrum. Sure. Okay. All right. He's not attacking. So I think what I can do is I can do. Um, let me upgrade the sense of time. Yep. Then I'll do tantrum and then double damage. Oh, wow. I did not realize the heavy blade would be so much. Okay. And then I can actually kill. All right. So it's just one turn I wasn't able to perfect. And yeah, maybe. Did I get another shame? Oh, come on, game. The game really doesn't want me to go for the Highlander modifier. Omniscience is pretty good, though. I think especially because I pick up the Ragnarok, Omniscience might be really great. Let's take it. Uh, Snake Eye is tempting because I just picked up an Omniscience. I have Ragnarok. I have a few high-cost cards. I also have a few zero-cost cards. But overall, I have more high-cost cards. And I have the Corruption. Yeah, Sneko is very tempting. Pandora's box might give me duplicates, even though uh, well, the curses are giving me plenty of duplicates. Let's go with the uh, Sneko Eye. At the start of your turn, draw two additional cards, start each combat confused. I can't believe it. I even drank the Entropic Brew. And that was very useless, too. All right. Uh, three Elite Path. Good. Multiple three Elite Paths. Okay. So if I stick generally to the left side, I'll get one early shop. And then uh, two question marks. If I then go in the middle, I'll get three question marks. Oh, that's actually a disappointingly low number of question mark rooms. So one, two, three total. Yeah, fine. That's okay. No better value. All right. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. All right. So let's do zap. Already starting off taking a bunch of damage. I could kill one with the tantrum. Uh, you know what? Let's do that. Okay. And then I can do something like uh, Dagger Throw to kill the other. Okay, I could do Tantrum again, but then I'd take a bunch of damage. 
So let's instead just do um uh let me do one strike and then um I'll throw these potions. I don't want to deal with too much damage. It's okay. Also, I, I want to free up some potion slots. Twin Strike or Cutthroat Fate. is definitely better. Let's take that. All right. Well, I'm not going for the Highlander modifier, right? I already have two duplicates, even though I removed one curse. And then, um, so I only have one shop on the way. It would be possible, but very difficult to remove duplicates. So let's just go for the extra gold and the two normalities. I'm hoping that the uh, with the blue candle, the normalities won't be that big of an issue. Uh, that's the hope. Um, let's do normality. Then blade dance. Okay. And then I can do steam barrier, cloak and dagger. Shiv. Actually, I should, should play the Ragnarok first and then I can play shift at the end. All right. So shift would give me extra energy, but I don't think I need it. Yeah, I don't think I need it yet. Let's do this instead. Okay. All right, everyone's attacking me. That's fine. We got corruption, defend, crush joints. Okay. Piercing whale, heavy blade kills one of them. And then I have double damage to kill the other one. And then cut through fate kills the last one. Good. Okay, I got a dex potion. Cool headed is nice. Yeah, it's extra card draw. Let's take it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm loving the fact that I'm getting lots of AOE enemies and I barely have any good AOE cards. Let's do Limit Break, Battle Trance. And then let's do Dagger Throw. Mm -hmm. I'll probably get rid of the Sever Soul. It's a little too expensive. Um, let's do Strike. And then Strike, Strike again. Oh, so close to being able to kill the Backliner. All right, fine. I, I guess I could have drank a Strength Push, but I don't think that's necessary. I'll accept the damage. That's fine. Um, anything interesting? Any two munitions? Yeah, probably Ragnarok. Let's do that. That seems like a safe bet to do. Mm -hmm. Infernal Blade. It's too cheap. Let's... Oh, I already have a wheel kick, but I'm not going for the Highlander anymore, right? Yeah, fine. Let's just embrace it and take another wheel kick. Okay. I am curious if I, it's just my random an RNG that gave me two or three duplicates or if everybody had trouble going for Highlander, but uh, let's do Limit Break and then munitions the... Um, should I do Battle Trance? Might not be able to afford it. Let's just strike. And then, yeah, let's omniscient see Ragnarok again. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. Cold Snap, Third Eye, go for the S. Let's go for Cold Snap. Okay. And then here, Rip to Mancer. Uh, yeah, double damage Ragnarok is pretty good. Let's play that right away. Mm -hmm. And then get rid of the normality. Uh, oh, I didn't realize I didn't have the... Yeah, right. I pl I just played the... Okay, I played... Oh, I misclicked. I meant to play the um, beam cell. Uh, I'm not going to reload. It's fine. Uh, let's do cloak and dagger. Zap. Shiv, shiv. Get rid of the shame. Um, yeah, I should have... I, I wanted to play the omniscient, although I hadn't really decided what uh, what it would play. Uh, let's do this and then kill with the wood kick. We got a Mummified Hand. Whenever you play a power card or random card in your hand, cause zero that turn. As well as Regal Pillar. Whenever you rest, heal an additional 15 HP. Strength Potion and definitely not Mental Fortress. Clothesline might be good. Let's take it. With Sneko, it might be better than average. Okay. Yeah, I can afford everything, right? So let's go with the Ori. I'm going to pick up, choose and add five cards to your deck. And as opposed to a few days ago where I forgot to go back, I have to remember to go back to the shop. Let's take Empty Mind here. Another Piercing Well, another Battle Trance. Let's take a second... Well, actually, Impervious is not bad. Let's take that. Um, especially since I have the uh, Calipers. Um, not a huge fan of any of these cards. Let me think about this for a second. Definitely not Catalyst. Let's take the third eye. Do I want Fasting? Yeah, yeah. Let's take Fasting. The extra strength might be nice. And then Perfect the Strike. Probably not. Let's go with the Blood for Blood. And then here. Fine, I'll go with the Vault Strike. Okay, go back to the shop. Good. I mean, I can afford everything, right? Let's take Nunchaku. Every time I play 10 attacks, get extra energy and peace pipe. You can now remove cards from your deck and rest sets. Okay, come on. Did I just take another set of duplicates where now I have peace pipe? I still don't think peace pipe alone would be enough. So if I want to use peace pipe now, I would have to remove two cards. No, three. Because I picked up, in addition to having two normalities and two injuries and two shames, I also picked up a duplicate wheel kick. So I have to be four cards. It's fine. I'll just uh, 
I'll just won't go for the Alan Mark Let's go with the acrobatics for the card draw. Um, probably don't need any of these. I eh, don't want echo form. It's not going to hurt. Okay. And then I probably don't need this many strength. Po Actually, the strength potions are fine. Yeah, it's okay. Who knows? Maybe I'll get another shop. I just don't know what else to spend my gold on. All right. And then uh, on the right, I get... Wait. Yeah. No, on the right, I'll get two question mark rooms. I thought I took the wrong path. On the left, I'll just get one question mark room. So let's turn right. We got injury. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay, great. Well, now I have... That's my third injury. All right. Maybe I'll get a collector bonus out of that, as well as Dreamcatcher. Whenever you rest, you may add a card into your deck. Okay. And Regret. All right. At least a unique cursor. Or Calcum if you end your turn without blocking six block. And Duplicate. You know what? Should I duplicate the injury to get a collector bonus? Because I uh, can't really think anything else to duplicate. Who's my final boss? I could also duplicate the Omniscience. You know what? I'm going to duplicate the uh, injury just to have at least one collector bonus. Otherwise, I'm not going to have any. Okay. Yeah be funny if i get a fifth injury definitely impossible all right 16 i do need some block here let's do steam barrier beam cell mm, let me see what dagger throw gives me first okay um so this is 10 8 i am one short uh i should have played the dex potion that would have been enough let me see if there's anything that... Th Actually, wait, no. I can do Cold Snap and then Evoke it with the uh, Dark Orbs. Right? That'll give me 11 block together with the Piercing Well. That'll be enough. Okay. That was a close one. Another 16. Let me see if I can keep it up. Uh, let's do Cool Headed first in case I draw the Normality. I didn't. Good. I also got the Impervious, which is good. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do Impervious. And then Foreign Influence gives me... I probably don't need Dash, although... Yeah, who knows. Better of the Regret, then do Dash. And then I'll... Omniscience of Ragnarok. I think the second one will deal double damage, right? Because of the Pendant. Very nice. That killed too. Okay, we got Centennial Puzzle. The first time, lose HP each combat, draw three cards. And Bronze Scale, side each combat with three Thorns. A Speed Potion, and... Yeah, let's say Cut through Fate. Okay. And then turning right here. Um, probably don't need to upgrade the limit, but let's upgrade the battle trends. It's always my opening hand. Hmm. All right, got these spikers here. Um, 10 incoming. I just wasted the double damage, right? Let's do battle trends. Defend. At least that's good. I can do clothesline. Uh, only one more uh, energy left. I guess if I do strike, I'll end up taking damage. But that's... Hang on. Wild strike is 29. That kills. Good. And uh, I can play defend here to not take... Well, to only take very little damage. I should have played the strikes on the back banner. I didn't realize that. Okay. 13. Get rid of both the malleys. Very lucky they were both in the same hand. Almost kill this guy. Actually kill this guy. And then let's do Impervious, Blood for Blood, and um, Uppercut. Okay. All right, we got an Essence of Steel, which, you know what? I don't think I need that many Strength Potions. Leg Sweep is pretty good. Equilibrium would be nice too, but Leg Sweep is a solid defensive card. And then Reptomancer again. Um, kind of want to do Acrobatics. Let's do Impervious. Okay. Then Acrobatics, in case I draw the Normalities. I didn't. Good. And then, well, I can still draw it with the ink bottle, right? Uh, let's do, let's do Battle Trance, why not? Yep, did get the um, Normale, which is why I played the Impervious first. Hmm. All right, luckily this guy's not attacking me yet. Uh, let me see what the fast thing hits. That I just hit a defend, okay. Then I'll do, I do need to get rid of the minions. 25, okay, that gets rid, gets rid of one. And probably don't need Sever Soul here. Let's do leg sweep. Um, uh, let's do wheel kick. Again, worried I'm going to draw the normality. All right, echo form for free is nice. Let's do cold snap. Okay, I think I'm in a good spot. So then I'll do wheel kick again, risk the um, normality again, but that didn't happen. Come. Okay. And then I guess I can do is simmering fury too much? Next turn it will only be 72 damage. Um, 
He's also guaranteed to attack me next turn. Uh, it might be a little too much. Let's just do Wild Strike and Sense of Time. Okay. Alright, that's a lot of incoming, but I can just do Blood for Blood and that's enough, right? Double plate. Add Frozen Egg, one of you add a power card into your deck, upgrade it. And Internal Feather for every five cards in your deck, heal three HP, one of you enter a rest site. As well as backflip. Definitely backflip for the card draw. Okay, last upgrade here. Probably the Ragnarok, right? Yeah, let's make it a little better. Ragnarok and then Impervious would be another good candidate, but I think Ragnarok is better. Okay, not getting attacked on turn one. That's good. Let's drink this and this and this and this. Okay. All right, I would like to play Echo Form. This is expensive. Let's get rid of the Normality. Heavy Blade. 94. Um, let me see what the wheel kick gives me. Try to think if I can trigger double damage. Won't be easy. Seven, eight, nine. No, no, it won't be possible. Unless the battle trance gives me something great. All right. Well, at least I, I didn't get a normality. That's fine. Um. There's no way to trigger, right? I have one, two, three. I only have two, three attacks, so. Unless, yeah, and I don't think I can get the ink bottle to good value either. All right, that's fine. That's fine. Um, let's do echo form, actually, which said, I'm not sure what it said to zero. I can, wait, can I play five cards? One, two, three, four. No, one, two, three. Oh, I can't play five cards. So maybe I'll just do uh, heavy blade and uh, all it quits. Come, okay. because now I can only play four cards next turn. And 32. Don't want to play the normality first. Let's do backflip first. For the block, right? That's the most block. Okay. Or fasting first. No, no, no. Let's do let's do normal, uh, backflip first. Okay. Uh-oh. Did I miscalculate? Should I have drank the speed potion? I think I still have to, right? Let's get rid of the normality. And then, so this would be 28, 32. I need to drink the speed potion. Uh, wait, how much does it defend? 27, 31. Yeah, no, I, I need the speed potion. So let me do the defend here after all, just because um, I won't be able to play the shifts here. Okay. 27. Okay, double play the impervious. I think that's a great idea. It'll allow me to uh, hopefully gain uh, keep some block with the calipers. Uh, let me see what this gives me. Uh, probably don't need Windmill Strike or Compile Driver. Empty Fist might be fine. Let's do Injury. Then Empty Mind. Um, I'll do Crush Joints. Shame. And then Wild Strike. Sure. Ooh, again, have to be a little careful that next turn. Well, I, actually, next turn is transforming, right? I could deal double damage with the Empty Fist, but let's see what happens next turn. All right, all my extra block is unnecessary here. I don't think I can transform him next turn. Although I do, I can do Piercing Well, get rid of the Strength. That seems like a great idea. Let's do that. Let's do Piercing Well twice, I guess. Okay. And then, yeah, might as well do a Strike. Eh, I probably shouldn't have wasted double damage. It's okay. At least he doesn't have any extra Strength. Well, I got Omniscience and Ragnarok in the same hand, which is not great. And there's nothing better to Omniscience anyway. So I think I'll do Corruption. I uh, probably shouldn't have done that twice. Uh, let's do Uppercut. Anything to missions after all? Maybe Cut Through Fate? Sands of Time? Blood for Blood? Yeah, sure. Let's do Sands of Time. Why not? Actually, that's enough to kill. All right. At least I perfected this boss. Got a little lucky. And I got uh, my third Normality. Yeah, I don't think I had a chance of going for um, Collective Bonuses. Got too many Duplicate Curses. 1341 did miss one elite so out of the seven sorry one boss i mean out of the seven elites i perfected five got two out of three bosses did get overkill with that almost 300 heavy blade um turn and i uh i don't think i could have gotten the common modifier but i definitely had everything i needed to get that curses stuff and skabdian were pretty easy and i only got one collector bonuses because i duplicated a, a curse at the end I really wanted, I wanted to make the Highlander deck worth it, or work, but I got three shames early on and two injuries, and then I was offered two normalities. It was just, it would, it would have been, I think, maybe possible to remove all the duplicates, but very difficult. Oh, what did I get at the end? Oh, normality, right, right, okay. So it would have been difficult. Oh, I realized I, uh, okay, played faster. It's weird. Yesterday, my run took, I think, more than an hour, and I thought I played slower, and today it's the opposite. I thought I played 
Uh, well, I thought it was it went faster than it did. All right. Um, so wait, actually, my score's not that bad, right? Where is it? So it's forty fifth. Um, oh, I see. I'm one point. Wait, how am I one point above Hobo? That's weird. One point. So usually, if you sort of have more regular fights, that's that's two points. I guess I guess it's a combination of something that is. Actually, no. I have no idea how that happened. Uh, very interesting, though. Um. Yeah, maybe by taking the uh, tiny chest, I changed my RNG significantly. So let me know in the comments if you went for tiny chest and if you didn't, if, if that sort of changed the results significantly. But yeah, I missed one boss. If I had gotten that one boss, it would have been 1441, which would have put me in um, 17th place. And then I guess I must have uh, went for or skipped some. Oh, actually, I know what the difference in points is. Um, because of tiny chest, I had question mark rooms. If I had, if I didn't have tiny chest, I would have probably had regular fights, and that would have given me two extra points for each regular fight. So that's why there's no fourteen forty one. There's just people who are two or four points above. So that's that's interesting to know. But yeah, so it could have been a top twenty run, but uh, ultimately did get a little unlucky on the axe two boss. Well, not really unlucky. I, I well, there was one turn I was able to defend at all, but other than that, I killed. So yeah, um, Hobo Streamer got one point less. How much is Vorpal off? Um, Thirteen ninety one. Okay, so Vorpal is exactly fifty points away. So I I wouldn't be surprised if Vorpal was able to maybe get um, Overkill modifier and something else, um, but sort of go with the tiny chest as well. I'd be curious if I can determine from the points whether or not you had tiny chest. So let me know in the comments what you had. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.